So here's this interesting website that I came across. It's called freechocolate.com. Downloadable chocolate, it says. And basically, it says that it's the world's first website to offer downloadable chocolate. Extensive research at one of the UK's top universities has revealed a remarkable fact. Certain substances can, in theory, be converted to digital information, sent over the internet, and then converted back again. Unfortunately for us, one of those substances is chocolate. Using this website, you can connect directly to the university's experimental online machine, the computerized homogeneous organic compound oscillatory matter, oh, oscillatory matter slash antimatter transmitter, chocomat, and download chocolate straight to your refrigerator. And it says, see the FAQ. Let's go and see. Hang on a minute. Let's see the FAQ. So this is the FAQ section. How reliable is the download? The chocomat technology is still in a very early stage. So not 100% guaranteed to work, it says. We have identified a number of possible problems. But there may be unforeseen reasons why the process may fail. So basically, even the first question says that it's not reliable. How does the chocoma actually work? Sorry, the details are being kept secret until the technology is perfected. Information will be available from the patent office. My chocolate did not appear. What do I do now? Did someone else get there first and eat it? Were there any warning messages? Oh my God, this is just... I mean, you can just tell from the FAQ section that it's BS, you guys. Complete, complete BS. You can just tell. Because even the FAQ section is like disappointing. Anyway, let's go back here to the home page. Scroll down. It says it's necessary to download the chocolate directly onto the refrigerator because the heat produced during the digital conversion process can otherwise cause the chocolate to melt on arrival. This website uses inverse GPS. Oh my goodness me says, please indicate your acceptance of this by ticking this box. Right, let's tick the box. I grant permission for freechocolate.com to use inverse GPS to scan the locality for the nearest refrigerator. And it gives you a choice. Type of chocolate to download. You can download any one of these, apparently. I'm going to go for milk chocolate. Yeah, I'm going to go for this one because... I kind of like that milk chocolate UK style. Bar size, number of chunks. Um, yeah, we'll just do 35 grams, five chunks, that's enough. Scratch and sniff the aroma. Let me, I don't know what you're supposed to do with that. You must ensure that there is enough space in the refrigerator for the selected chocolate bar size. We cannot be held responsible for damage caused by chocolate overfill. Right, 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 right. So, everything is done. Let's press the download button, you guys. Now, my fridge is kind of like half empty anyway, so I should be okay. There we go. I've pressed the button. I've pressed the button. That's it. I've pressed the button. So let me go to my fridge right now and see if it's there. Okay, so I've been to my fridge and there is nothing in there, you guys. There's no chocolate. It hasn't arrived. So this website is complete bullshit. Oh my God, look, I didn't see this down here. Look at this. Oh, it's still making it. Apparently, it's still making it. Look at that. 
extracting sensory parameters, texture, sweetness, flavor. Transmitting, transmitting. Okay, let me check again because clearly I didn't wait long enough the last time. Let me just wait till this is finished and then I will go and check again, shall I? Done! That's it. So please check that your chocolate was successfully downloaded. So first time, I don't think I really gave it a fair chance because I didn't wait. So let me go downstairs again and check whether the chocolate was downloaded. Right, it's still not there, you guys. It's still not there. So this website, we know it's just BS. And it's kind of disappointing. But then again, it's predictable because like, can you imagine if this was real? Millions of people would go on the internet and download free chocolate without even paying for it or anything. So how, how would they even have enough supplies to even send it to millions of people? So it's obviously bullshit, but I had to try it for you guys just for the fun of it.